Hi friend, welcome back. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Today we're here with the Rode Wireless Go version two. So if you followed along a while, I've, I've talked about cameras and microphones and things like that. And I do cover a little bit of technology here and there. And then I also do like rustic living and you know, modern technology type of, type of videos. I've been filming now with the Rode Wireless Go for the past year since this original one came out. This is the one I use currently. I have one in the box always as a backup and, and standby. And clients and customers, I'm, I'm always recommending these to them for when they want to get good audio at a distance and, and whenever they don't want to be hardwired. I like Rode products. I'm not sponsored by them. I have a couple different variations uh, to talk about today. But I, I was just really excited about this. I wanted to open this up the other day, but I wasn't really feeling the best. So I wanted to wait on it. My, my chest is still a little bit tough to breathe, but... Uh, Wireless Go 2. Let's open this box up. Take a look at it. Pretty cool packaging. Very compact as, as normal. Inside the box, let's see what we have here. So there's the box. So we have some cables. We have a nice little foam carrying pouch, which is nice with a nice little road badge on it. We'll set that over to the side. We got an instruction manual. You might want to take a look at the instruction manual or go online and watch some other videos too because there's a lot of features packed into this. And then we got our units. So as we open this up, you get three wind muffs, which is nice. They've redesigned the wind muffs. I'll talk about that. And you have two receivers, or I'm sorry, two transmitters and one receiver. That's a big change. That's the first big change that they've made in the new version is having the ability to interview two people. You can have a stereo mode, you can have a mono mode. So if you're interviewing two people, you can break that out. That's a very nice feature. And they're already paired together, so you don't have to worry about pairing two separate setups or using this bracket that Rode sold for a while where you could mount two of your receivers onto your camera. And it just gets it just gets cumbersome. So this is a very nice setup. When Rode came out with the Rode Wireless One, it was a game changer in the industry. Everybody tried to copy it. Everybody tried to uh, make this make similar. Everybody that did audio tried to make similar products. So first things first, I wanna see if they fixed a problem, and I know that they did. They redesigned the wind muffs to protect against all of your inner, no, I'm just kidding. They, they uh, redesigned the wind muffs so they actually connect to the device, and we'll see how this works here. You, you push it in and you twist lock. So it's like a twist lock. Now, the wind muffs don't fall off. And literally, I think I've lost most of my wind muffs that I bought for the original Rode One because some of them have fallen off and I just didn't feel like going to find them or I couldn't find them. So they definitely solved that problem. That was a big complaint on the first version. Not necessarily preventing you from buying it, but it was definitely a complaint that people had. They solved that. Rode listens to their customers, and that's what I love about them. I have the Rode, uh, Rodecaster Pro back here. I use a lot of the Rodecaster mics, or Rode Procaster mics, I think they are. I like the Rode Video Micro that's usually on a camera of mine, and that bounces around with me all the time. And then, of course, you have you know, like your old receivers, th these old road receivers, that's what you used to have to carry on your on your person. And then you'd have a receiver and a train, like this one be on the camera. And then you'd have another one this size that would be on, on your person. So next up we have the displays. The displays have been improved. I really like the new display. It has the input levels for each one of your um, transmitters. And on your receiver, you can see a lot more. You can do a lot more right from the receiver without any software. We'll get into software later on. But that's a really cool feature to have the displays updated. So like dBs of each one of your transmitters, your uh, gains, your uh, color coding. I think you can color code each one so you can know which which one's which. And um, that that's a really cool feature. Battery power on each one of your transmitters too. So that's, that's nice to have. The distance has been improved on this unit. The distance is now 650 feet or whatever that is in meters. But 650 feet, that was a big problem i guess i would say with the first version was a lot of people experienced some cut out maybe sometimes 30 feet or if you turned your back to the camera sometimes these things would cut out i've seen some reviews i've seen some people talk about this it works really well 650 feet i've never been that far away where i actually had to get audio that i wasn't using another audio source or a recorded audio source but that is awesome and i believe that they really put a little effort into with the new 2.4 gigahertz i believe is what it runs on and the encryption of the audio. So if you're in a dense audio place, that is going to uh, weed out some of the other noise or things that can happen in your units. 
I apologize if you see some cuts in this video as I have a cough still and I'm still getting better. So bear with me. I just, I'm really excited about this. So I wanted to share it with you. Oh, uh, the other thing is they improve the latency. So um, this is probably one of the lowest latency audio, wireless audio setups out there. That's a good sign as well. So another big feature is internal audio recording on these units, on the transmitters. So you have like seven hours and then up to like 24 hours. It can be recorded internally. That's gonna be great for wedding filmmakers, people that are shooting videos that you don't wanna lose your audio or have the, the least chance of losing your audio because you can only film it once or capture that audio once. That's gonna be important, that's really cool. I think it stores, like I said, seven hours, 24 hours, compressed, uncompressed, which is very nice. That's gonna store right on your transmitters. You can pull them off and offload them onto your phone or offload them onto your computer. That is a great feature. It's important to know too, that audio recording acts as a loop. So once the, it fills up, it's going to start rewriting from the beginning, but that's a great feature of these new Rode Wireless Go 2s. So we'll take a look at cables now. Three USB-C to USB-A cables, which is really nice to have to offload your data and to charge your devices. So they come with all three cables, which is nice. Some companies will skimp on the cables and only give you one, and then you have to plug in different devices. So that's a nice feature. And then you get this Rode, this new Rode SC5 cable, which this was a big upgrade. I hope they do this with all of their cables. Um, I'm used to these little corkscrew looking cables that bounce around and sometimes they can make some noise. This is a memory cable. So whatever position you put it in, it's gonna stay there, which is nice. It'll keep it from bouncing around. I, I like that upgrade and that was well thought out. And then you can plug it into your uh, transmitter. I'm sorry, your receiver. Plug that into your camera set it up the way you want it, and now that cable's not gonna bounce around, and remember, if you wanna tuck it out of the way or wrap it around your gear, you could do that. Very, very cool and innovative. So I think it's really cool that Rode listens to their customers. That's that's the big differences that they've made. I'm sure there's others, there's a lot of things on the way. I wanna talk about software for a second. Rode highly invests in their software development and their firmware. The firmware being the software that kinda of runs on the device itself. So you can plug these in, you can update them. They just developed a new app for both Windows and Mac. You can control a lot of the features and fine tune features that you couldn't before. You can update the firmware on your devices. And Rode, I can just tell you from experience, and, and I'm not sponsored, I have no affiliation with them. Uh, just having the Rode Picaster Pro and a couple other of their, you know, other units from them, they're always updating. And I love that. I hate when there's like a planned obsolescence where you buy a device you have it for a year, they never update it, they don't stick behind it, and then you're you're stuck, and now you have to buy the new device. They're always updating their software, and I think with this device, as they come up with new features, and as they get feature requests, you'll see them added, because I have seen them, proof is in the pudding, I have seen them do that with the Rodecaster Pro and their other devices. Maybe we'll do some kind of a giveaway or something, because I, I do believe that this would be great for some of you guys to have that follow the channel. So I, I'm not gonna do the audio test today, because my lungs are still getting better i'm just getting over a little bit of sickness but if you want to see some of the real life tests and the audio quality which is pretty much the same i don't think you're going to notice a difference in the audio quality between these if you want to see the difference check out my buddy's channel he's from pa his name's anthony lapani he used to go by the everything man anthony keep hammering man you do great work and i and i trust his judgment i do think he is affiliated or, or works with road on their microphones and gets get some of the products a little earlier but I know that the reviews that he does, I trust his his judgment and his reviews. So I'll link him up in the description below and maybe throw a card up in the channel here for him because he did a review on these microphones and I think uh, you guys would enjoy that as well. So if you're looking for better audio quality without draining the bank and some other units are a lot more expensive, for $199 you get the original version, the Rode Wireless Go 1. For $299 you get the uh, second version, the Gen 2 we'll call it, Rode Wireless Go. That's $299. If you can swing the extra hundred bucks, I think it's worthwhile for you. They're adding a pile of features with the software applications on the computer, and they're developing software applications for mobile. So they put a ton of resources behind their products. They stand behind them. I think that is the best option for wireless audio at this point. And these systems will get you on the road to better audio capabilities. On the road, yes. Okay, so that was cheesy. I'm gonna leave it at that. Subscribe if you'd like, and I hope to see you in the next Pixel. Take care.